Hey, SnowRunner fan. In this video, we're going to look at In the Valley. In the Valley is a console mod map. Before we get started, though, I'd like to send a huge shout out to all my subscribers and everyone that's liked and uh, shared my videos in the last few months. I really do appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. So here we are in the valley. We start out in a con loaf. And uh, it's pretty well equipped. It's got a whole lot of stuff on the roof and it's got mud tires on it. But I'm not sure that it's really up to the task of uh, getting us to the garage. That's what our main task is here. We're, we're uh, at the uh, staging point in this map and um, the first thing we need to do is get to the garage. And there's no indication really of where it is, which direction it might be in, anything. No signs. They wouldn't really be helpful. Watch. I'm going to go through the fence here because there's nobody around to open it up for us. They wouldn't really be helpful though because unless you speak Russian, I mean, if you read Russian they'd be okay I guess. Since they're all in Russian. So we've already discovered one new truck, a Don 71. New trailer, scout flatbed, a new objective, an experienced driver, and a new truck, a Tuz. All right, let's trade up for the Tuz here because that'll give us a better chance of getting around, I think, in this terrain. It's pretty, pretty rough, actually. So we'll park the con loaf and we'll get into the Tuz and off we'll go. Now the thing is, I've looked around and I know where the garage is because I spent a couple hours playing around in here. And I know that it's actually bust down that wooden gate and hang right. But I wanted to pick up the different scout vehicle first so I hung a left. So we're just going to go back past where the uh, initial drop off point is as though we had come out and hung a right. So here we go. Another objective. We get up to this crossroads here, we'll hang a left. And basically what we're going to try to do here is circumvent this giant body of water. I'm not sure if it's a river or a lake but it's large and there are some bridges out at different points so we really have to uh, pick and choose which direction we go at, at the different intersections so bear in mind that until we actually open the garage right you know garage discovered Every time we recover our vehicles, they'll be recovered back to that starting point. Okay? So, just keep that in mind. If you have trouble, you're not going to be automatically sent to the garage that we're looking for. That would be nice, <laughs> but it's not going to happen. So, this intersection we bear right, because again, we're going to circumvent this body of water. So, we're keeping it just on our right. I'm glad I uh, took a moment to trade the loaf for the Tuz. It's going to give us a better chance of getting through some of this terrain, I believe. This is a really uh, lovely map. This is the kind of map that could easily be an in-game map another Russian series. Actually this is a series, there are two maps. So I imagine that at one point we would come across a tunnel on this map in the valley to allow us to access the other map. So we're gonna fight our way past this muck here.
there are some really bad muddy parts through here, I'll tell you. But as Russian maps go, this is actually um, quite pleasant compared to the in-game ones that are kind of dark and foreboding. This one's actually bright and airy. It seems more like North America to me, but that's just my opinion and observation. In any event, it's a really lovely map. And as frustrating as it was to find the garage without any idea of where it was, and then having another surprise popped on me when I did find the garage, which you'll see when we get there. Um, I, I had a lot of fun, actually. I started playing around with this map last night, trying to find the garage, and eventually went to bed, got up this morning, still looking, <laughs> but I did find it this morning, and then got the lovely surprise, and then continued on, and then recorded this about four times before I actually got it to come all together in one straight shot for one reason or another. PlayStation didn't actually record, flip the vehicle over, you know, usual sort of stuff. We should be getting pretty close to the garage, though. We've been out a couple minutes now, and I know it's only about... Oh, I'm going to say three and a half or four minutes away from the starting point. Despite the mud bottles. bridge, I think. Yeah, here we come. So you're thinking, well, come on, Michael, that wasn't so bad. It was only a few minutes. What are you complaining about? Some garages are, you know, even more difficult to get to, harder to find. Yeah, could be. But the problem with this one isn't so much that it took a bit of finding and searching and getting to it's what happens when you do get there initially which is nothing right no garage discovered da, 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 da. no none of that <laughs> so you pull in hey there's the garage now, wait a minute where's the yellow uh, lines oh no yellow lines okay oh wait a minute there's something over here let's go check it out Ah, a new task. So, garage keys. The guy that's got the keys has left. Probably off to get drunk. Don't know when he'll be back. Can't get in without the keys. Could you get him? Yeah, I suppose. <sighs> nice surprise. Finally find the garage and uh, it's locked. Okay then. Well, one good thing, or three good things, I guess, really, is that there are several trucks sitting outside of the garage. Boron, Grad, uh, Taiga 6436, and uh, Azov, what is that, 5319, I think? Nice. So we'll switch over to the Tega 6436. Since it has way more gas than the little Scout, we could gas up the Scout on one of the trucks and continue on, but still I find that uh, there may not be enough gas to get from here to where the, uh, where the keys are actually located. So we'll just take the Tega instead. And... Uh, that should do the job of getting us there. So, park for a moment. Find out exactly where the keys are on the map. Under tasks. Set a marker for the navsat, navigational satellite, the blue marker. 
and we're off in search of the guy who has the keys so naturally we're gonna have to go back part of the way that we came in here as this place doesn't look like there's a lot of roads in and out of it so uh, while we're doing that I'll uh, tell you a quick story uh, years ago I was driving a truck and um, making deliveries and uh, I pulled into this L-shaped alleyway that had a entrance or exit at both ends of the L. This was in a downtown core. Very busy day. It's like a Friday. Everyone's making deliveries. And um, so I pull in, pull around the corner of the L. I'm not too worried because I know I can just pull out the other side when I'm done. I'm making a pretty quick delivery at an Ogilvy's. So I make my delivery, go in, I'm come back out holy crap down at the end of the lane there's a giant beer truck taking up the entire lane there's no way that I'm gonna get past this guy so now I've got two choices one I can sit and wait for this beer guy to finish his deliveries now I don't know if you ever watch beer guys make deliveries those guys could be 10 or 15 minutes right I mean I mean back when I was doing what I was doing it would be like two minutes in and out so I'm thinking to myself, no, this is not going to work. Plan B. Plan B is, I have to back out of the lane. But I have to back around that 90 degree corner. Mmm, fun, fun, fun. Well, I did manage to do it. And get on with the rest of my day. But uh, I tell you, that story stuck with me. Because, man, I came out of that store and that beer truck was parked there. And I was like so mad. I was like, oh man, you got to be kidding me. Seriously, dude? Thanks. Ah, uh, yeah. It's the fun of being a delivery guy driving a truck, I tell you. Once upon a time. Had a lot of adventures in that job, though. It was a lot of fun. Met a lot of cool people. It was I used to deliver uh, sweets. You know, candies and chocolates imported from different parts of the world. And man, people loved it when I showed up. Let me tell you. Oh, look, the sweet guys here. <laughs> Good stuff. All right, so just getting my bearings here. I'm going to make sure I'm heading in the right direction. A lot of times the road looks like it's a road that splits or forks off, but what, what really happens is it's a road that goes up to someone's property and it's actually a driveway. It looks as much a road as the road, you know, because the goat paths around here are just <clears throat> goat paths. What kind of vehicles all these people must drive? Four by fours or something. Live in the middle of nowhere. So we're well on our way towards finding the keys. Now, here's the thing to remember. Even though you have found the garage, you have not opened or discovered it, shall we say. Right? You haven't discovered it so that it's open. Now you're going for the keys. So you will have the keys, but you won't be at the garage. And if something happens and you go to recover, you won't recover to the garage. You'll recover back to the starting point. Right? Because the garage has to be open first. So you have to actually get the keys to the garage physically so that you get that garage discovered. Da -da 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 -da, and then the garage will be open. And any time you recover after that on this map, you'll recover to the garage. Are we getting close? 
We're getting closer. We're still a few minutes away, though, I'm thinking. Geez, how far did this guy have to go for a drink after work? And how the heck did he get there? And how the heck is he getting home? <laughs> I'm hoping someone sober drives him, because if he goes out, be a warning tomorrow. Uh, truck stuck somewhere. Guess who? Went out drinking and got uh, stuck off the, one of the roads. Yeah, for sure. Not that I'm advocating drinking and driving. Definitely not. Very bad thing. I'm just saying, if the guy's gone out having a few drinks, I mean, this is not exactly a place where you hail a cab. <laughs> yeah, I've got a couple too many, man. You want to call me a cab? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> It'll be here in about three days. No worries. Here we go. See what I'm seeing? See what I'm talking about here? Look, this looks like it's a road, but mm, not so much, really. This is actually someone's driveway. Oh, we'll back our way out of here. Oh. This is the middle of summer. I hate to see their driveway in the middle of winter. This is Russia, after all. They could get eight feet of snow or something look out their window one morning it's like completely white everywhere everywhere <laughs> oh boy ah uh, yes I remember this place look at this with the wires hanging down this is not good Things are pretty rugged out here. I'm surprised they have uh, telephone poles. Ah, uh, yes, we're coming up on it now. On the gentleman with the keys. Not too far off. These are such lovely roads. So much fun to drive on. Ah, here we go. So I tell you what I would do, actually, because the where the keys are and where the garage is are pretty far apart and where the staging area is and the garages are much closer so what I would do after getting a hold of the keys is recover to the staging area and from there drive to the garage oh lovely tree in the middle of the road not one that I can go over okay not one I could haul out of the way either I don't think even with the taiga all right, here we go. Almost there. Oh, here's another tree. This one I can go over, though. If I'm not going to tag that one along with me. Here we go. Just double checking. I'm gonna get a bearing on this. Still a little ways off, actually. All right. It's decided. We're going straight. Another new truck, the R87. Could switch to that, that's a lot of fun to drive. But we'll just stick to the 6436 for now, because we're almost we're almost at our destination. And this is a good truck, it's one of my favorite off-roaders.
Of course, I love the upgraded versions like the 6437, and I think JBE has a, has a, a 6436 out. Pretty sure, and I usually really like all of JBE's mods. close like uh, through a rocket it would bounce off it close here we go right in here all right new trailer discovered sideboard New trailer, prototype exploration unit. All right, toss a few sticks around, make the camera dance, and we've been promoted, level two. And we have the keys. The task is completed. All right. So as I said, the thing to do now is get the keys back to the garage and open it up. So if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, I'd um, really appreciate it if you took a moment to subscribe, like, and share. And in any event, stay safe, take care, and until the next video, bye for now.